Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy D-Loy. So the Los Angeles Lakers got a rare win last night, just their second win in the month of March. However, the big news is what Adrian Wojnowski tweeted out Sunday afternoon, and that tweet was regarding the Lakers' potential search for their next head coach. And that person could be Jason Kidd. Yes, Jason Kidd is rumored to be in the running to be the next Lakers head coach if they decide to move on from Luke Walton. Now, if you ask me, do I necessarily think the Lakers should be moving on from Luke Walton? Not necessarily. I think he has had a tough um, series of events, really, for anybody to coach. You get a LeBron James who comes in. You now have to bring him in with a bunch of younger guys you have. You have a bunch of injuries throughout the entire season. Really haven't had your starting five all year being healthy. Your bench is a guy, bunch of guys who really can't shoot, so that definitely doesn't play in the favor of a LeBron James. And then you had the trade rumors in the middle of the season that also helped derail the Lakers season. So a bunch of different things really happened for Luke Walton to really try to overcome. He wasn't able to overcome those, and now it looks like it may cost him his job. You guys all have to remember, when LeBron James went out with his injury, on Christmas Day, the Lakers were in the fourth seed, and on top of that, they were also dominating the Golden State Warriors on that Christmas game, but then everything seemingly fell apart. So it looks like the Lakers will be moving on from Luke Walton. Do I think it's deserved for him to be fired? Absolutely not. I think he got a bad, bad shake, but at the end of the day, I don't necessarily think it's also a bad thing for the Lakers to look for another head coach. Now, with all of that said, is Jason Kidd the right guy for the Los Angeles Lakers? I'm not quite sure he is. Now, with Jason Kidd, he's with the Brooklyn Nets. Of course, he was also with the Milwaukee Bucks last season before being fired and let go in the middle of the season. Now, Jason Kidd is not a bad coach at all. I think he is somebody who LeBron James will respect a little bit. But when you look at some other guys, I think there's a few candidates I'll put ahead of a Jason Kidd. Now, we don't know where Jason Kidd is on this list, but of course, you're looking at a Mark Jackson. I think that will be a huge get for the Los Angeles Lakers if he decides to come coach in L.A. Of course, Doc Rivers is a stretch. He already said he wants to stay in L.A. with the Clippers and not the Los Angeles Lakers. But we all know that a lot of that is media talk. We'll see what actually happens when it's time to open up your wallets and pay the man. Doc Rivers is definitely going to get paid. I don't see him leaving the Clippers, but the Lakers are also going to try to go after him. Jason Kidd may fall into the category right after those top guys as somebody that you don't mind bringing in. Is he a way better coach than Luke Walton? To me, he's not. But it is going to be a change of pace, and you can bring in some new guys that that coach or Jason Kidd actually wants to play with, or coach rather, and then try to rebuild that way. So we'll see what happens. But Jason Kidd, at least according to Adrian Rosnowski of ESPN, is on the list of coaches that the Los Angeles Lakers are looking at. You guys let me know who you guys think the Lakers should hire as their next head coach if Luke Walton is out of there, or do you think Luke Walton deserves to stay? Let me know how you guys feel about that in the comment section below. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.